In this lecture, we are going to display the expense list which we created in our last lecture in the UI. So let's go to VS Code. And what we want is, if I go to index.html and if I scroll down, here we have this div called expense item containers. And in there we have two divs, expense debit item container and expense credit item container. So what we want is, if the expense is of type debit, we want to show it inside this div with this class expense debit item container. And if the expense is of type credit, then we want to display it inside this div. So first of all, let's go ahead and let's access these two div elements from our TypeScript code. So for that, I'll copy this class name. And at the top, let's create a variable. Let's call it debit div. You can name it anything. And to access it, I'm going to use document.query selector because here we want to access the div element using its class name. So to that, we will pass the class name as string. And since we are using the class name, we also need to use dot before it. In the same way, we also want to access the credit div. So I'll copy it, I'll paste it again. And to avoid any issues, let me go ahead and let me copy this class name, which is expense credit item container. And let's specify it here. And let's change the variable name to credit div okay so we have access to these two divs now let's save the changes here now let's scroll down to the click event handler function so here we are pushing the expense object to this expense item list now instead of logging it what we want is we want to display those expense objects in the ui so let me close it here and here we are going to call a function. Let's call this function maybe display expense items. Now let's go ahead and let's create this function. So after this class, let's create that function. Okay. And what this function will do is whenever this function will be called, it will loop over each expense item inside this expense items array. And it will create some HTML and it will insert it in the UI. So for looping over the list, let's use for loop. And here let's create a variable. Let's assign it with the value zero. I should be less than expense items dot length and I plus plus. So here we are looping over the expense items array. And for each iteration, we want to get the expense object from that expense items array. So here again, I'll create another variable. I'll call it expense item. Notice that it is not items, it is item. Equals expense items of i. So using the index, we are retrieving the expense object at that index. And we are storing it in this expense item variable. So this expense items, it is storing a list of expense objects. So for each index, we are going to receive an expense object. In that expense object, we will have a type, right? So here, let's say exp item dot, you see, we have a type. So here we want to check if the expense item type is equal to credit. Then what we want is here, let's create a variable. Let's call it container div. This container div will be the div inside which we want to insert the expense object and display it. Because as we learned, we have two divs, debit div and credit div. In the debit div, we will display the debit expense. And in the credit div, we will display the credit expense. So if the type is credit, okay, so here, if expense item dot type is credit in that case we will return credit div else we will return debit div so what this will do is based on the expense type we are deciding what should be the container div if the expense item is of type credit then the container div should be this credit div basically this div 
in this one we will display the expense item but if it is not credit that means it will be debit so in that case this container div should be the debit div this div and inside this div we will display the debit expense okay so now the next thing which we need to do is we need to insert some HTML in the container div and for that what we will do is we will say container div dot insert adjacent HTML and where do we want to insert we want to insert before end so in this div or this div before this closing div tag we want to insert the HTML so here we will say before end and then here for now let's simply pass an h3 element and we need to pass it as a string so here we want to pass an h3 element let's also close this h3 element and in there let me actually use back ticks here so that we can use template literal syntax inside this h3 element okay and what do we want to display in between these h3 elements let's say we want to display the expense description so for that we will say exp item dot description okay let's test this functionality so let me save the changes and let's create a credit expense let's say description is salary credit amount is 10,000 if I click on this add expense button it has added it here now let's create a debit expense let's say groceries let's say amount is 200 and when I click on this add expense it has added it here but you see it has also added this salary credited two times now why is that happening that is happening because initially this salary credit was rendered in the web page and after that when we clicked on this add expense button in the expense items array there are two objects so those two objects are also rendered but the previous rendered value is also there so what we will do is before starting to insert the expense objects in the ui in this container div first of all we will set this debit div and credit div in a html to empty string so let me copy this debit div here let's paste it here and let's say dot in a html equals empty string so whatever html it will have it will be set to empty string and this we don't need and here it says that the debit div is possibly null that's because here we will use this exclamation telling typescript that we know that we have a div element with these classes in the html so it is never going to be null and let's also do the type casting so here it is going to return us html div element okay let me again copy this one and let's also type cast the second div and now that error should be gone so here we are setting debit div dot inner html to empty string let's also do the same thing for credit div so for the credit div also we will set its inner html to empty string so before rendering anything in the ui first we will clear these two divs and then we will go over the list and for each item in the list we are going to display it in the credit div or debit div based on the expense type now let's save the changes let's create a credit type let's click on add expense button it has been added here let's create a debit type let's click on add expense and it has been added here and now we are only seeing it one time we are not seeing this salary credit two time because now what is happening is every time this button will be clicked this is going to call this display expense item this function is going to loop over all the items in this expense items array and before inserting the expense objects in the ui it is clearing everything from those container divs i hope you got the point now instead of simply displaying the description of the expense we want to design it 
and we want to display it in a little bit formatted way in the UI so that it looks good. And we also want to show the description, the price, and also a cancel button using which the user can delete that expense item. So let's go ahead and let's design these lists in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.